Hey everyone, welcome back. So I have my very first Bunny Sisters wax haul to share with you guys today. And look how cute this box is. I'm dying. It's just adorable. So this came in a regular flat rate box, but then when I opened it up, I was pleasantly surprised that it came packaged and it was just adorable. So I have not opened it yet. I'm waiting to film, or wanted to film it, uh, to film opening it because it was just um, packaged so nicely. And I wanted to share with you guys, you know, my experience so far. So. Anyways, um, the owners of the Bunny Sisters Wax Company is, uh, they're two sisters, and Elizabeth and Janine are their names. I will link the website in the description box. I want to say, uh, I want to say that I ordered during a sale, possibly for M uh, Labor Day. I was about to say Memorial Day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I did get a discount on this, but I'll have to look if they included an invoice. So, they also sent a little card here. Thank you so much for your support. Enjoy Lizzie and Mimi. Yeah, I guess that's how what her nickname would be from Janine. So, anyways, um, let's see if there's any other information I can think of. Uh, well, one other thing, I actually didn't know this was even coming because I guess whenever they sent me the shipping uh, information, it went to my spam folder and this just showed up and I was like, oh, pleasantly surprised. So. All right, so we will open it from this end here. All right, so we got another box. But I love that they take the time to wrap it like a present. It's actually really, really like pleasing to open uh, the, the uh, mailing box to find a nice present inside. So, all right. Ooh, it smells good. Hey, Marley, can you go in the drawer right there and get me some scissors? So, this is the box. Um, it's, let's see, she's gonna give me some scissors really quick. Or I might be able to just open it. Never mind, I don't need it. The tape came right off. So, alright. Oops. Alright, so when I open the box, I'm just gonna move this here. Uh, we have some more padding. Or padding. And, let's see my order. So, I'm gonna just take this second to take this stuff out okay so now that we have opened the package and I took everything out we will go through the samples so she sent a ton or they I forget that it's two it's, it's two owners they sent a ton of samples so let's jump right in the first one here is in rainbow sherbet and it's like a little rose bunty it's actually tri-colored it looks like candy corn <laughs> so this smells really nice Actually, so I'm surprised. I thought I didn't like rainbow sherbet, but um, actually I do. It smells very nice. It's crazy how um, your nose changes over time. I just really didn't think I liked rainbow sherbet, but it smells nice, so. And it's really strong on cold, so that's nice. A good indication that it'll be strong. <laughs> So this next one here is Breakfast of Champions, and I had to look this one up because none of these have scent descriptions on them, but look how cute this is. Uh, it's actually like a Fruit Loop or Fruity Pebble birthday cake. Mmm, smells really good. It's really strong. All of these so far that I've sniffed are really, it's just like, you can't say that it smells light on cold so far. Mmm really nice. I love Fruit Loops, but lately it seems like I have to be in the mood to reach for a Fruit Loops scent. Sweater Weather. This is just your basic Bath and Body Works dupe. Spot on for the candle. It smells really fresh. Kind of slightly green. You get, I personally get a little bit of like eucalyptus, some pine a little bit. It's a nice like winter fall scent so and it's actually cool out today so that goes along with my I have my door open right now it's chilly out bar baby in this cute little uh hello kitty shape this is probably big enough to cut in half um I looked up on the website trying to find this scent and I cannot find it so I'm just gonna go off of what my nose tells me it smells like berries I don't know because it's really familiar but I couldn't put a, a specific note in there other than like a little bit fruitiness some berries some fruity scents actually it's kind of reminding me of like a candy like a starburst or something 
So I will have to look. Maybe it's on the Facebook group, but I did not pull that one. Pull the Facebook group up. Next, we have Mango Tangerine. And this reminds me of a candle I got one time. Well, my mom used to buy these candles from some, some lady at our dentist office. She used to sell Marenzi candles. And this smells like a candle that we used to get and it was so good and I don't remember the name of it now but I'm gonna ask my mom because this smells just like it mmm it's very sweet it's very fruity definitely a good summer scent so I need to hoard this until I can get more because it, it does give me memories of that candle pumpkin pecan waffles this is just another dupe from Bath and Body Works Again, this is spot on for the Bath & Body Works candle. I like this actually. I forget that sometimes I'm in the mood for this scent, sometimes I hate it, but right now it smells good. All right, Sleep Eater. I had to look this one up and it is Lemon Lavender Birthday Cake. That's really nice. Um, you get the lavender, but it's kind of creamy. It's not, I don't know if it's, if it's a sweet lavender, but you get the lemon too, but it's not overpowering, which is nice because sometimes, because actually I saw this on there to order, but I didn't get it because I was afraid of the lemon. But it's actually, um, it's really nice. It's a really nice combination. And then the last sample we have is pistachio pudding cake. Hey Marley, come here. This does have a slight cherry undertone to it. Like sometimes, I'm not a huge pistachio uh, person, so I don't know a whole lot about it. Would you turn that light on for a second? But it does have like a creamy note, but also, uh, yep, try that one. Is that a little better? I guess so. We'll keep that on. Okay. Sorry, guys. You have been blinded by the light. So, anyways, this has a little bit of a cherry note to it, which I'm not a huge cherry fan, but I'm trying to branch out. For some reason, I just, I can't get down with cherry. I don't know why, and everyone else likes cherry, and I'm like, I, I can't, I can't stand it. So, this does have a little bit of a cherry undertone, so I might melt this in my daughter's room or something just to test it out and see. So let me move these samples and we will get into the actual order. All right, so I pulled up my um, email receipt because I did not get an invoice. So I got, let's see here, two four packs. The first one here is Friday the 13th and the scent notes for this one is Marshmallow Fireside and Red Apple. This is phenomenal. The Marshmallow Fireside is very heavy, but there's that sweet apple in the background. This is so good. I might have to make another order just for this one. I'm really glad that I got this. And for reference, this is $3.25, and I did get um, a discount. I don't know. It doesn't have the percentage on here and I'm not, I don't feel like doing the math right now, but I want to say maybe it was, it was quite a bit. I want to say it was like 30%, 20%, something like that. But anyway, so these are perfect to just pop in your warmer and this smells phenomenal. The next one here is another four pack, four pack in the Jersey Shore. And this one is salty sea air ice cream and cotton candy frosting. This smells really good as well. The salty sea air is very strong in this. But I can also pick up the sweet cotton candy frosting. This is a great combination. And it's really strong. I'm so I'm so glad that everything is smelling so strong. This is another one that just off cold snip I would buy again. Because you guys know I love salty sea air. And again, this one was $3.25. Well, and then that was before the discount. All right. Moving on, the rest of my order, they're all scent shots, two ounce scent shots, and they were $1.95 each. So the first one here is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. 
this is nice. It does have that little bit of a sour blackberry note to it. Sometimes you can either get like a sweet blackberry jam butter cookie or a sour one in my opinion. This is slightly sour, but you know what? I think I'm gonna try to put like vanilla or something with it. Might sweeten it up just a tad, but it does smell good. I do like blackberry jam butter cookie. I just have to be in the mood for it. This next one here is Marie Antoinette, and this one is rose jam and tea and cakes. Mm, that's nice. It's definitely rose jam tea and cakes. I feel like I've had this before from another vendor. This is really good though. I, I've been really all into rose jam and tea and cakes lately. I go through phases, you know, where you, you just want to melt certain scents. All right, moving on. Pink sugar cookie, that's self-explanatory. That's straight up pink sugar with like a creamy cookie note in the background. It's really nice, but I'm glad the pink sugar is heavy because I love pink sugar. Now, I will say that her wax does seem to be very hard if it's for their wax. I keep wanting to say hers. Um, so I might, I'm gonna say it might be paraffin because you know, sometimes parasoy can be hard, I've heard. So anyways, I might have to microwave these before I cut them. They do seem to be very hard. <clears throat> the Red Sea, let me tell you what this one is. All right, the Red Sea is salty sea air and red apple. I get the apple mainly, let me pop it out. The salty sea air is more of a lighter note in this one. It's there, but the red apple really takes over this blend. So maybe after um, I let it sit for a while, it'll change a little bit more because I like the salty sea air to be a little bit stronger, but that is a really nice red apple scent. Fall leaves, I'm, I don't know if this one was anything fancy, it might just be a leaves type. It is slightly different to my nose. It doesn't smell spot on to Bath & Body Works actually. Um, it smells a little bit more foody to me, more like uh, applesauce, if that makes sense. But it's not bad. Or no, you know what it smells like to me? This smells more like a, a craft store. I popped out the, and smelled the bottom. Yeah, it smells like a craft store. You know, you get that like spicy, sweet, I guess it's like potpourri scent, but this is really good. I need more of this one too, because I love that scent. Uh, especially, this is literally spot on to like walking into Michael's or Joann's. Um, so I need more of that. <laughs> And then Cranberry Pumpkin. I think this is a Bath & Body Works dupe as well. This is nice. I, I would say that I do kind of get like a cereal note from this, but it's it's not bad. But I don't think I've ever had Cranberry Pumpkin, um, like a candle or anything, so I'm not sure what the dupe smells like or what the original smells like. But to me, this has a slight uh, cereal note, so it's interesting, but I like it. All right, moving on. We have Merman, which is Sea Witch and Blue Sugar. And I don't know what Sea Witch is, so we're just going to sniff. I don't know what Sea Witch is, but I definitely get the Blue Sugar. It's like a fresh Blue Sugar scent. It's really nice. And I love Blue Sugar. Mmm, that's good. But it's not, I don't know, it doesn't really smell cologne like cologne because so I was thinking of Merman, it would probably probably be heavy on the cologne. Now, blue sugar can smell a little bit like cologne to some people, but to me, it just smells like a really sweet scent, So, but like slightly musky at the same time. Tea party, I have to look at this one. Oh, tea and cakes and blackberry jam butter cookies. Mmm, that's good. That's a good combination. Um, they're hard to pop out. I'm trying to sniff the whole thing because this one is multicolored. I don't know if they've uh, mixed the scents all together. I can't really tell. All I know is the bottom smells really heavy on the tea and cakes. So it could be um, that they mix them. They Or that they uh, pour tea and cakes first and then the blackberry jam. But it smells really nice. All right, and then the very last scent shot is Plain Jane Salty Sea Air. I just wanted to try their Salty Sea Air because I, I pretty much try everyone's Salty Sea Air. 
That seems to be the scent that went wild this summer. And it's spot on, smells so good. It's like a sweet, you just have to smell it. And there it goes. You just have to smell it. It smells really sweet and fresh, but there's something to it that I just, I absolutely love. And I'm so glad that this scent came out because it's the bomb.com. So that is my very first order from the Bunny Sisters. Um, I'm